Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over a brand new feature in Sophos Central that will be coming with the release of the Sophos Firewall 18.5 MR2. That will be the credentialist setup for synchronized security. This has been a long awaited feature. It is coming right around the corner. So I wanted to show you what this is going to look like from the Sophos Central side and the Sophos Firewall. So let's jump in and take a look. From the Sophos Central Partner dashboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my Manage Customer Usage and I'm going to launch into a customer account. In this case, I'm going to be using my Steve Weber personal account and we're going to launch into that central admin account. Once we're inside of the Sophos Central admin, we're going to go over to Firewall Management. We're going to go to Firewalls and add Firewall at the top right. You will have the two options, the left side option being that standard option we have for the light touch deployment. That's gonna be the USB light touch deployment. You can fill out the basic details of the firewall, plug in the USB to the back of the device as long as it has an internet connection, and it will set the basic configuration and join it to Sophos Central. For firewalls that have already been configured and deployed, you can utilize this new method with MR2. We're gonna click on the right side and we're now going to have to put in the serial number for this firewall. So if we go into my firewall, we will grab that serial number. And we'll go back into our Sophos Central Admin. From here, we'll paste in the serial number for that device. And we'll hit Next. Now, this screen will give you an option and the default will be register using OTP, a one-time password. You will still have the option to register using an email account. That email account is still that unique Sophos Central admin account. So if you have that, if you've set it up, you can still utilize that for all of your new accounts. You can utilize this OTP one-time password. Click on the copy OTP and finish. And from here, we'll jump into our firewall. We'll go to Sophos Central. We'll select register. And here it will give you the two options just as we had before. This will default to use email address. We can then select use OTP. We can paste that OTP passphrase into here and click register. This will take about 30 seconds to a minute for this process to complete. This will, just as before, turn on the synchronized security heartbeat and the synchronized application control. It will not enable the Sofo Central services that will need to be enabled once the process has completed. Now that the process has completed, you can see here our Sophos Central services have not been enabled, but we have synchronized security heartbeat and that sync app control. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the Sophos Central services. We're gonna select the send logs and reports to Sophos Central. That's for your central firewall reporting. We're also going to enable the Sophos Central management as well as sending the backup configurations. You will still need to go back to the Sofa Central account and accept services for that device. We'll hit apply. And once this finishes, we will now go back into Central Admin. We'll just give it a second here to let that finish. Now that that's finished, you can see here it says waiting for the Sofa Central administrator to accept the services. So let's jump back into the Sofa Central Admin account. And from here, we can see my firewall in here. There's the serial number of the firewall I'm looking for. And we can see that it is pending approval. Same as before, we click on that pending approval. We hit accept services. That firewall is now gonna go through the process of getting connected up to Sophos Central. It'll probably go into a gray checkbox to start. Once it communicates and sends all of the data back to Sophos Central, you will then see that in here with that green check mark on there for connected. At this point in time, you could click on the device itself, launch directly into that firewall via a single sign-on. You now have full access. From here, you can add it to groups. You can do anything else you need. So I hope you guys see that this process will make it much simpler to onboard the Sophos firewall into the Sophos Central Admin account for your customers. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local team. Again, this process is coming with 18.5 MR2 here in just a few weeks.